From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Oh my, this is a cold one. You know, when we don't do this but every three years to ten years or whatever, it's kind of a big deal. And so this has been a really, really big deal. Obviously, we mentioned how many people have gone in and been uh, transported because of uh, too cold. Uh, the system is moving south and east. Uh, this is a kind of a winter mix that's going on across portions of Mississippi. Winter storm warnings kind of tightened up a little bit there. We have this trailing area of snow. This is an upper level wave coming through and squeezing almost blood out of a rock. You could say it's just, just taking a lot to squeeze out some snow, but it was enough to have travel advisories for a little bit. We do have some snow flurries trying to move in right now in Chautauqua County, but again, it's running into dry air, so it's having a hard time, but some flurries could make it down to Tulsa here tonight into the morning hours. The roads are changing. Uh, John Durkee's out on the roads. He's been out there for a while. Hey, John, uh, update on the city roads versus some rural roads. Well, good evening, Travis. The uh, city of Tulsa, for the most part, has stopped putting down, uh, stopped plowing and started putting down uh, assault, especially in those turn lanes. And while the thermometer today struggled to get into double digits. Uh, the sunshine really did help matters and melted off a lot. However, as you can see, that sunshine is now gone, and we're going to have to deal with a lot of refreezing overnight, particularly in the city of Tulsa, as well as some of the rural areas with those turn lanes and uh, the expressway entrance and exit ramps being the most vulnerable. Back to you. All right. Thanks, John. So again, coming up to a stop sign or stop light, make sure you kind of stop in advance or at least slow down enough that you don't slide out into the intersection. Worst feeling in the world. All right. Thank you, John, for being out there tonight. And here's a look from Lake Eufaula. Brian sent this picture in, uh, you know, pretty amazing. This was uh, late yesterday afternoon. I think the driving lane was OK. The passing lane on the left side wasn't. The lake looks great, but man, was it ever frigid cold. This is a look out of Lake Ten Killer. Uh, Chuck sent this picture in. And again, some pretty uh, awesome pictures we have had the opportunity to see, but it gives us a good idea. And of course, a cardinal sitting there and hopefully you've been able to feed some birds. I love watching some of those birds. It's amazing, but I don't love watching the temperature gauge. And we had to watch it yesterday go down to the sixth or fifth coldest day for a high temperature at six degrees. And so that's the top started in 1918 when it was only two degrees for a high. Uh, 1912, 2021, not so long ago. That was a system we were talking about three years ago. In 1983, which was ugly right around Christmas time. And then uh, today, or yesterday, I should say. And then, of course, today, we've had our own. Kind of interesting. Minus three this morning, broke a record set back in 1905. And then 14 today, uh, that last record was 1972. So there's quite the interesting records. As far as looking at uh, morning lows, this was unbelievably cold. We're going to probably do a very similar story, especially if we clear out from those clouds that are associated with the snow flurries. They're up in Kansas right now. We'll get a few clouds coming in for the evening hours, and then it'll start to change over. But you talk about cold, cold weather, and we were in that batch of cold, cold weather. Dallas down to 10. That was awful. And today they didn't improve much. They were at 23 while we're now at 11, 13 in Nashville, still hanging on to 55 in Atlanta. And you can tell right where that cold air is located And Alaska still has a lot of cold air. And what does that means to us? Additional cold air is still going to be around tomorrow. And then there's a second surge still coming in late Thursday night into Friday. So get a little break on Wednesday into Thursday. But then we have this system coming in on Thursday. It's going to pull in some of that colder, frigid air again. So that's going to hang around, especially here in eastern Oklahoma, Friday into Saturday. And then Sunday, it kind of loses its grip a little bit. But right behind that on that tail, we have a new storm system coming in with some cold rain. Could start out as sleet on Monday. And so then we start to moderate just a little bit, which will help. And a lot of us will be a lot happier. So that's the good news as far as what we're hoping. Awful cold air though still sticking around as we end the month and then head on into the beginning of February. It's going to be pretty much near normal, which is still cold because we are in the middle of winter. All right, one degree at nine o'clock tonight, zero in the morning, sub zero readings any place around the area. So you might be minus five or so 16 at noontime. So we'll get a a little bit of improvement late tomorrow afternoon of 23 is an improvement. It's the best we have right now. The warmest day is probably Wednesday. That cold front comes in. We'll be right around 39 or 40 as that cold front comes in, switches our winds around to the north. Bitter cold weather then on Friday and Saturday again before a brief reprieve before it gets cold and wet and dreary beginning of next week. That's your 9 Day Planner. We'll be right back.